Okay, so tonight we're going to go back and review what we know about um, exponential equations, or um, exponential graphs, really. Um, we've hit these a real little bit at the beginning of the school year, and then we're going to explore them a little more in depth now. Um, so today is the 24th. So we have 3, 24, 14, and um, we can just title this exponentials, okay? And you need to know that this right here is the um, equation for exponential functions. f of x equals y times b to the x power. And remember, f of x is the same thing as writing y equals a times b to the x power. Okay? So we're going to look at all the different um, points of the graph. So if we look, this is our equation here. We have f of x, 3 to the x power, okay? So we're gonna take our calculator, bring it so you can see it, turn it on. So we'll go to our y equals. Now remember, we'll keep talking about this, none of these should be on. These should not be highlighted. If it looks like this, it's trying to plot or trying to graph what you have in your line one, line two. So we want to just graph this function here. So we go up and hit enter, and then it unhighlights the plot one, two, or three. So make sure those are not highlighted, okay? So we're going to put in our equation, three, and we're going to raise it to the x power, okay? Now this asks me to fill in the values for, um, these are x, and they want to know what the y's are. Okay, so remember f of x is y. So we could just replace y here if we want to. So I want to fill in this table for these values. So here's a table. Here's the word table. So we can do second. Oops. So we can do second. Let's try this again. Second table. And I get all these. Um, here's my x values and here's my y's. So I can go up and figure out what these values are. Okay, so when I have negative two, I have 0 0.1111, which is a long number and I need to know the fraction. So I have two options here. I can put this in my calculator and figure out the fraction, or I can simply understand that the x value is negative two. So really what it's asking here is the equation is three, and we're bringing it to the negative 2 power, right? So remember, we got to make those exponents positive. So that's really 1 over 3 squared, or 1 ninth. Okay? See how those negative exponents came into handy there? Same thing here. This um, negative 1 gives me 0.3333, which is some sort of fraction. So again, this is the x. The x is negative 1. So I plug negative 1 in for the x. So this is 3 to the negative one power. I want to make it three to the positive power of one. So this is really one third. And then here, my numbers are nice and easy, so I can just copy it down. When x is zero, y is one. It tells me right here. When x is one, y is three. When x is two, y is nine. And when x is three, y is 27. Okay? So now we're gonna graph it. Um, before we graph it, remember we want to always start with zoom standard, or zoom, yeah, zoom standard. Okay, so we always go to zoom standard first to get our initial graph to see where we're at. Okay, um, here I have several things. Oops, I have to erase all that, darn it. I have several things that I'm trying to figure out about the x intercept the y-intercept, the asymptote, domain range, and intervals of increase or decrease. So let's start with the easy things. Um, for the x-intercept, we will find, and we've talked about this in class, remember the x-intercept was when you have some number for x, but y is zero, right? And the same thing for the y-intercept. The y-intercept is when x is zero and we have a number for y. So if I go to my table, I want to know when y is, ah, darn that, I want to know when y is 0, right? So if I go to my table, oh, for goodness sakes, mm. so I go to my table, 
I'm going to my table. There we go. I want to know when y is 0. And if you can look, um, I'm looking, and my y's aren't ever hitting 0. They're just getting, this is scientific notation. So this means 7.7 .7 times 10 to the negative 7. Okay. So you remember that from, I don't know, previous grades. Like that would be written like this, 7.7 .7 times 10 to negative 9. So it's still not quite 0 yet. And um, if we look at our graph here, the thing about exponential equations is it rides along here and it gets closer and closer to the y-axis, but it never crosses it. So it's going to hug this line and get microscopically closer to it all the way down, but never cross over. So my answer here for um, the y-intercept is it's never going to cross, or the x-intercept, excuse me, is never going to cross that x-axis. So for the x-intercept, there is not one. So we just put none. There's no, it never crosses over the x-axis. For the y-intercept, I've told you several times now, if you hit this trace button, it always hits the y-intercept right away. That's the first place it goes to. So I know that x is 0 and y is negative 1. So for the y-intercept, please write it as a coordinate, 0, 1. Okay? Now an asymptote is just exactly why we have no x-intercept. It's a graph that hugs an axis and keeps getting closer, but never quite crosses it. Okay? So it's never going to cross over this x-axis. So here we say y is equal to 0. The asymptote is it's never going to cross over that 0. So the asymptote is 0, y equals 0. Okay? So because we won't ever have a 0 for the y because it's never going to cross over there. Okay? So here, um, remember the y-intercept is when x is 0 right? So when x is 0, the equation for that line is y equals 0, okay? So it's never going to cross here. All right, so if we remember our domain, our domain is, and this is from earlier in the year, all your x values, okay? So here's my x-axis here. This graph goes forever in the negative direction, and it's going to continually increase and keep moving out in the positive direction. So this graph is going forever to infinity this way. And it's going forever to infinity up and to the right. So for our domain, we say it's all real, oops, real numbers. Okay? It's going to have an x coordinate in every direction, this way and this way. Okay? Now for the range, remember the range is the y values. So we're looking at which coordinates it will cover on the y-axis. Well, I already told you it's never going to cross here, but we have values in our graph that range from above the x and up. So for our um, looking at the y-axis, we our graph goes from here to infinity this way. Okay. So here's when y is 0, and it's going to continue to go up in this direction. So for our range, we say y is greater than 0, okay? And then this one is asking if it's an increase or decrease. Well, we can tell. Remember, we read a graph from left to right, so it's going like this, and it's increasing that way. So this is called an increased interval, okay? So we have three things you need to look at. Find the exit, exit, it's intercept, y-intercept, the asymptote, the domain, the range, and if it's an increase or decrease. Okay, and so we're gonna work on this a little bit more in class tomorrow. Um, but you need to know those um, those three those one two three four five six things. So make sure you have these things, what they mean, and how we found them, and then we'll do some practice problems tomorrow. Good night.